I know I just made a video on this yesterday, but this is record, almost record breaking flooding around here. That's all river bottom. That normally is soil, not water. Let me zoom it in. That's flooded clear back up in there. Turn slowly so you guys don't get car sick. Yes, we're still turning back to the river. And we're still looking at it. Oh, there's part of the river, but clear back behind it's completely flooded. You can kind of see the water moving there in front of them trees. Yeah, that's where the river normally is. I'll keep turning. All that water behind the river flooded too, or before the river. Get turned past these few trees so you can see a little better. Try not to turn too fast. You can kind of see it back there behind them corn stalks. That's where the river normally is. Usually you can't see it from here, but completely flooded. Let me zoom back out. I'll go back up on the hill and I can show you this river bottom really cool, but I just thought this was a really cool spot to take a video. I know I just did this yesterday, but it's kind of uh, documenting it for my own purpose. But just kind of thought I'd give you guys a quick look and show you a few more spots that I showed you yesterday how much deeper it is now. But see you guys in the next clip here on top of the hill and if you look you can see where that curve is that's where I was filming before right down there at the bottom of the hill we're just kind of gonna go a quick flood in the bottom I wish the Sun was out today It'd make it a lot nicer video but we gotta have this nice drizzle. there's the river And there's more crop ground underwater. Clear back up in there. At least the geese seem to like it. Alright, on to the next spot. Bottom here at the orchard that I showed you yesterday. Right there's the culvert completely underwater we definitely have a lot more water up here today we're not too far from going over the road clear up here let me show you the other side yeah it looks worse as here's the road which you know, you could kind of see that culvert sh sticking out yesterday. Yeah, it's gone. Well, it goes clear back there. Clear out there. Clear to the river and to the other side. Yeah, it's out. I showed this pouring water through here yesterday. And if you look... It's completely backed up even farther. It's backed up so much the water's just kind of floating through here. The bottom of that's completely underwater. And the water goes from clear over here, clear to there. I can't get it in the same frame from yesterday. Absolutely crazy. I'll go walk out onto the river, the bridge, and show you that because that's crazy too. Just a second. Here we are. You can see clear over there. Outside, I'll zoom in. It's flooded clear out that way. The river's actually up, and it is raining. And these trees that had a little bit of water in them yesterday, yeah, they're clear under. It goes clear up into the field. 
Absolutely freaking crazy. I'll get you as soon as this car goes out. We got two cars. We'll try to jump across. We'll always show. This is that road I showed on the way into town. It's flooded, clear up. Ooh. And then we'll run across real quick before we get run over. Ah. There was those trees that just had a little water in them. I would say they're several feet. And that whole field, which I was just kind of showing you, all the way to town is wet, water standing. Clear her back up in there. The river's really, really wide, really, really flowing. And it's clear back up into the neighbor's yard. Am I zoomed all the, I'm zoomed in. It's clear up into the neighbor's yard into their horse pen. Freaking nuts. Yes, more flooding. Let me see if I can zoom it in and drive. Now with the wipers and the rain. And if you hear, I had to give you Jack's chickens because they showed up a day early. On the other side of them trees is where the river is. Just saying it for people that don't know. This whole bottom is clear, clear underwater. So I'm getting some footage of a road I usually don't drive too often, but... Oh, we got a car on the side of the road up here. And of course, you can see the wipers are gone because it is, yes, raining again. Still, this is all farm field. Or was. We got it on this side of the road too. At least you can tell the water is starting to go down. But in the back there, they've got a pivot. Irrigation. I do not believe they will need to run it anytime soon. Lots and lots of water. I don't know what else to say, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's full. And this guy that has this farm up here on this corner, he had to move his chopper and a couple of his chopper boxes. Because there's one still sitting there, three of them still sitting there in the hay head. He's got cows here in this barn behind these silos. And there's his chopper and his boxes that he moved in his grain head. Because he still had some, a little bit of soybean standing out here in this corner piece here that I'm showing you. Uh, it had been muddy. He had couldn't get in, couldn't get in, couldn't get in. Got part of it done and left some pretty good tracks. Watch the fence up here. Yeah, it disappears under the water. There's a fence or a gate four foot tall. Lots of water. And of course now it's on this side too. Crazy. Just another day in Iowa. You just never know what the weather's going to do. Well, if I can get it to focus. The good thing is the river is starting to go down. As you can see in the muddy corn stalks how high it had been. You got a couple trees out there. I don't know how well you can pick it up. There's a big tree branch log out here. All this mess up here. The water was over here. Higher. I'll hold it out the side window. 
All that's water standing in cornfield. All of this was underwater. You can see the line clear up above. So at least it's going back down. But it's still got an awful lot of water. All of this was underwater. Clear up up the road ditch. So it does look better that it is going down, but i just tell you how much water was coming down the river. And here's the river. It's starting to almost get back in its banks now in places. We'll wait till the next spot up here just a second. Here we go. I got out. I couldn't want to drive a whole lot closer because I didn't know what it was going to be like to get turned around. Yep, we got water. A lot more water. And oh, look, we had a road. We got water running through this culvert here. Running pretty quick. You can hear it gurgling pretty good over here. Oh, you can see the whirlpool where it's coming in down into the culvert there. It's clear underwater. And you can tell it's down, it's probably down at least a foot. I didn't know how well this driveway was. I didn't want to turn around in it and get stuck. Because I thought if I get in the ditch, I'm screwed. Because there, <laughs> there ain't nowhere to drive. But you can tell all this was underwater at one time. And it's going over the road really good. It's washed out pretty good, it looks like. We got more water in the field. Craziness. Oh well, we'll keep her going. At least they seem to be liking it. Oh, we got more. Look at that. They made their own little pond. We got geese out on the water. Yeah, it's a farm field, but we'll let the geese on it for a couple days anyway. It's not mine, so it's okay. We got quite a few of them. Feeding. Craziness. Absolutely freaking crazy. Here we go. We're just leaving town on our way out to the orchard. And what do we see? A lot more water. It is down just a bit. Because when I come to work, all this corn stock up in here was clear underwater. You can see where it's kind of funky looking. That was clear all underwater earlier, so it is going down, but look like we got beachfront property again. Well, and this is all that field yesterday that was just nicely getting water in it. And all of this down through here has water standing in it. Ooh, and now it's picking up the window. I'll get it turned back over here where we can see. This little bridge that we went by that you could just nicely see, yeah, it's gone. I'm sure it's still there because that's why all them corn stalks are there, but the water's going around it and over it. And this is all flooded up through here. And here's the river again, clear full. And we're back to work. Oh, I can tell it's down a little bit, but. Oh well, I gotta get Jack's chickens put in and uh, maybe I'll show them. I don't know if we can see them. Uh, sorry, trying to drive and park at the same time and holding the phone and it just isn't working so good. Uh, pull up here in the mud hole, which is everywhere right now. There they are, cute little bastards, day old. But I gotta get them in, get some wood chips for them and some food and water and maybe I'll show them. Maybe this will just become a vlog or blog or whatever the hell it is, a daily thing and show everybody what I do.
talk to you guys after a while or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how today goes.